Are you tired of watching boring old press releases? Then you've come to the right place, the right channel, the number one channel for CEO interviews and company overviews. Welcome to Rich TV Live. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button on our videos to help with the YouTube algorithm. For more information and in-depth discussions and analysis, join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get alerted when our next CEO interview is released so you can discover the next 10 bagger. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Evan Gappelberg, the CEO of Nextech AR Solutions Corp. How are you doing today, Evan? I'm doing great. Fantastic. Glad to have you on the show. Very excited to learn more about your company. And let's just get started. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Nextech AR Solutions Corp. Sure. So my background is um, Wall Street. Uh, I guess my claim to fame is I took Take Two Interactive Software Public back in yeah the 1990s. That's TTWO. Uh, back when I took it public, it had like a $30 million market cap. Today, it's north of $15 billion. Wow. Um, so that was a grand slam out of the ballpark home run. <laughs> Absolutely. And, Congratulations yeah. on that. Thanks. Thanks. That was exciting. Uh, but today, Next Tech AR Solutions, uh, I took public um, in 2018. Um, the idea was to get in front of this augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, multi-decade, multi-trillion dollar mega trend. And there was a lot of unknowns back in 2018. AR Kit, AR Core were just released by Apple and Google. And essentially all augmented reality apps uh, and technology is, uh, was being built off of those two platforms. And so in 2018, um, we got listed on the CSE um, at 25 cents a share. That was when we first started uh, 2020, the stock you know, ran all the way to, uh, to $10. And here we are today and today we are better positioned in terms of our tech stack than we've ever been uh, for augmented reality. And the industry itself has really started to swell, meaning in 2018, it was really early days. Um, and we were really the first publicly traded pure play augmented reality uh, company that got listed. Um, and Apple and Google were kind of amused by us. They, you know, <laughs> literally tapped me on the shoulder and they were like, hey, what are you, you know, what are you doing here? Like, it's so early. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, we're still, we still have relationships. In fact, um, Google, um, we're working with them. Uh, we're, there's, wow. there's stuff going on behind the scenes that uh, is super exciting for uh, next tech and the AR industry in general. And, you know, it's, it's an exciting time to be involved in this, uh, this technology because it's just getting started. We love technology here at Rich TV Live and we love companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I love the story of the trajectory from 25 cents to $10. Now you're back to back around that $2 mark in Canada. So can you please tell us what some of your milestones that have been hit for the first six months of this year? And what are some of the goals for Next Tech AR for the last bit, the last few months of 2021? Sure. So if you look at uh, 2021, we've signed some significant partnerships. Uh, number one with Microsoft. Uh, they're now uh, reselling our EdTech X platform. We just announced today that Ryerson University, which is a major university with over 46,000 students up in Canada, has just uh, doubled down on their augmented reality science labs, which turns them essentially with the help of Next Tech into um, the leader in wow. yeah they have like they're, they're going to end up with almost a hundred augmented reality 
science labs, a hundred wow. AR experience. I'm talking rat dissections and, you know, all these fun uh, science uh, projects that you do in, in college, we've turned them into augmented reality experiences and the students just love it. And so Microsoft wants to be reselling that into their ecosystem. So that was a significant deal for us. And, and we just announced that today. And, you know, that's uh, generated a significant amount of uh, excitement within the higher learning community throughout Canada. And we're going to be bringing it to North America, meaning the United States, which is a much bigger market as well. We also signed a partnership agreement with Ericsson. Um, they uh, pulled us into their 5G uh, incubator kind of program. And we'll, they, what that means is that they open up their Rolodex and they introduce us to their customers, to their partners. And so we're working with a number of them on 5G activations. The same thing um, has happened with Singtel. Singtel is Singapore's largest telecom um, in Asia. And so we're, we're working with them. Um, so this year has been super exciting. In the beginning of the year, we signed uh, our biggest contract to date with um, Harvard, MIT, and uh, Broad. Uh, and so that was a big deal for us. That's a multi-year contract um, that really does put us on the map with higher education. So there's a lot happening in the first six months. We're coming out with our earnings uh, for Q2 next week. Uh, Q1, we reported uh, just under 8 million in um, revenue. And so if you look at our growth rate, you know, it's 100, 200% year over year growth. Um, I've purchased stock in Next Tech seven times in the past uh, year and a half. I've bought 1.5 plus million shares. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, I continue to buy uh, stock and we keep landing deals with blue chip customers like uh, Northwell Health, uh, Eli Lilly, Johnson & Johnson, uh, Schneider Electric, um, the UN. Um, so, you know, we're, we're really positioned for extraordinary growth in 2022 and beyond, which is, you know, in my mind, the big move in augmented reality is going to happen when the AR glasses come out. And everybody's kind of at the, on the edge of their seat waiting for that to happen. And I think it's going to happen in early 2022. And so couldn't be more excited about that. Yeah, I bet. You mentioned some huge names there. Wow. Some big, big, big names like Google and Microsoft and Ericsson. Wow. I mean, these are big, big, big names. So congratulations on all your success. And to be quite honest, you guys are still just getting started. I mean, 2018 yeah. wasn't that long ago. So to be working with these titans, that's a great sign of what's to come. And your revenue, pretty strong quarter, $8 million. I didn't know it was that good. So that's also really, really promising. Now, Evan, can you tell us a little bit about your management team and directors? It's very important for us to understand the team behind the deal. That's why we love these interviews, to get behind the press release. We want to get to know, you know who, who's behind these deals. And can you talk a little bit about their past success in the public markets? Sure. So again, it's just under $8 million for Q1, um, which was a great quarter for us. Um, and that was on the, on the heels of, you know, the COVID kind of tidal wave, um, <laughs> which, which was happening in the AR uh, space to some degree, but primarily it was being driven by our virtual events business and, and our e-com businesses, which are adjacent. But if you look at our management team, Rich, um, you know, we, I went out in 2020 and um, hired uh, some of the best minds in tech land. So I've uh, essentially brought in guys from Microsoft uh, to run our ad network. Uh, Harish ran a, a multi-billion dollar, like a $10 billion ad unit for Microsoft. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's now running our ad network at Next Tech. Um, we have uh, 
Uh, Nima just came in through an th acquisition of 3D AI, which we'll get to later, but he's a former Apple computer, uh, computer vision guy. Um, my COO is from SAP, so is my global head of sales. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of deep tech talent inside of Next Tech um, that really, they, they really stand behind me and help me as we navigate uh, the, the business and the public market. So yeah, it's, it's a good team and um, super excited to have them on board. Evan, we know that you guys work with three e-commerce platforms that are currently driving most of the company's revenues. Can you go through those platforms for us and how your AR technology helps drive sales and what other platforms do you plan on getting into in the near future? Sure. So we own and operate a portfolio of four connected businesses. Our AR e-commerce is our oldest business. So uh, historically, it's going to generate the most, but we've grown that business from under three million in revenue to this year we're projecting uh, 20 million. Wow! And that's just from 2019. You know when we got started with that, those businesses. So in a few short years, um, we've really grown those. We've exploded them, and you know that's primarily on the back of augmented reality. Uh, we we have uh, a website called vacuumcleanermarket.com. We sell Mila, Dyson, uh, vacuums along with, you know, Vitamix, Cusinar, basically home, small home appliances. Um, uh, and, and we also have distribution deals with Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. So we're fully integrated uh, into the e-commerce ecosystem. And that those businesses just kind of churn uh, and, and they operate um, and the key there, though, is that we've integrated augmented reality into that platform. When you look at some of our other platforms like uh, MapX, we have mapping software, which allows you to map live events and actually generate a floor map and booth sales. And so that's a very high margin business um, where, you know, margins are like 90 percent. LiveX, which is a competitor to uh, Hopin slash On24. Uh, both of those companies have multi-billion dollar market caps. If you look at our market cap, it's you know under 200 million now. Um, and so LiveX has, as I mentioned earlier, you know, Harvard, MIT, you know, Northwell Health, Lilly Johnson and Johnson, Viacom. Um, they're all on that platform. And then we have our AR solutions, which is essentially all of our augmented reality technology, which includes our AR ads, our AR for e-commerce, our HoloX hologram creation app, ARitize, and of course our genie in the bottle, you know, smart packaging. So there's a lot happening here yeah. at Next Tech for sure. Wow, you guys are on fire. I love what you guys are doing. And we love disruptive technologies here. Uh, we love, we're big fans of Kathy Wood and she loves disruptive technologies. And here at Rich TV Live, our community loves technology. We love disruptive technologies. If Next Tech AR Solutions Corp were to compare itself to its competitors in this sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? So it's really what I just uh, mentioned. It's the portfolio approach. Right, so all of our competitors essentially have a single point solution. Um, we have a portfolio of augmented reality um, experiences, a portfolio of businesses that really diversify our revenue streams and really gives us these sandboxes to play in where we could test out our technology, see what sells, see what works, see where we get higher conversion rates, see what resonates with other public companies and, you know, if it works, then we continue to scale it and, you know, push harder on the gas. If it doesn't work, then we know, okay, you know, back to the drawing board. So we have the ability to have a sandbox uh, to play in, which I don't think any other small cap company that I'm aware of um, has. They just, they just don't have that kind of breadth and market um, penetration that Next Tech has. Here at Rich TV Live, we're very much fundamental investors. We're not hype investors. 
we're not really momentum traders. We're fundamental traders. And we like to find companies that have room to grow. Now, in saying that, the fundamentals for us, it's all about share structure. Share structure is a very key element in whether or not a company will be successful because if a stock has too much shares, it can create dilution and downward pressure. Can you talk a little bit about your share structure and how you plan to attract more institutional along with retail investors? Sure. Uh, before I even get to that, you know, I did forget to mention uh, when we were talking about, you know, company highlights, first six months kind of thing. You know, <laughs> we forgot to talk about a major transformative acquisition, uh, which we just closed on uh, with 3D AI, where we acquired uh, technology that allows us to leverage uh, AI, artificial intelligence into our augmented reality tech stack so that we could create 3D models at scale. Wow. And so, yeah, that was a big deal. And, and that brought in some really big uh, brand name accounts, meaning Kohl's is now one of our customers. Um, Pier One is another one of our customers, Kmart, uh, Lighting Plus. Um, and so all those things were that happened in the first six months of the year. But to answer your question about share structure, we have about 83 uh, million shares outstanding. I'm the single largest shareholder uh, with just under 10 million shares. I've purchased um, most of my shares, if not all of my shares. And um, so the share structure is pretty tight. Um, obviously, because I'm the biggest shareholder, I'm reluctant to dilute <laughs> and... and you know, like that, that aligns, yeah, that aligns us, you know, shareholders, right? Because absolutely. I mean, yeah. there's nothing better than a shareholder finding out that the CEO is buying shares because it shows that you're putting skin in the game, you believe in the company, and that you think it's a good price. And that's always a great catalyst for investors to say, hey, you know what? We're buying along with the CEO. So good for you. I mean, you're putting skin in the game. And at these prices, that's a that's a huge investment that you've made. Yeah. Yeah. I've put a lot of cash in many millions. <laughs> yeah, I've lost track of how many millions, but many millions <laughs> into, into buying shares for sure. If there was one thing, Evan, that you would want shareholders to know about Next Tech AR Solutions Corp today, what would it be? Um, it would be that, you know, the AR bull market has begun. That Next Tech AR Solutions is an early player in an early market, augmented reality, that is starting to explode. That, you know, when you look at the other early adopters, Amazon, Shopify, Microsoft, Apple, Ikea, uh, Snap, uh, Vizix, these all have multi-billion dollar market caps. Next Tech is the small cap. We're still just building our market cap, our revenue, our tech stack. And so there's an enormous opportunity ahead of us and all of us investors uh, to participate in this multi-decade, multi-trillion dollar mega trend. There's no other way of saying it other than, you know, in the future, and I'm talking about 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, you know, there's going to be, everybody knows, you know, drones are going to be a big deal of getting packages delivered uh, from Amazon via drone. We're going to have electric cars that show up um, like Uber shows up, except there won't be a driver. It'll yeah. Be this electric cars. And you're going to have a pair of glasses and your glasses are going to be your computer. It's not going to be your laptop. It's not going to be your, your wristwatch wow. computer. It's not going to be your cell phone. You're going to have a computer in your glasses. Your wow. glasses will be your computer and your display will be the lens. And what I want you to see is Next Tech's 3D model, Next Tech's human hologram, and Next Tech shopping experience. I want you to experience that. And that's where I see Next Tech going is that we're, you know, we want to be in the glasses. And we want to be in people's lives, you know, morning, they wake up, um, noon and, and night, you know, we want to be um, the, the, the thing that people experience on a daily basis 
um, because we have the technology with our ability to scale 3D assets, um, with our ability to scale human holograms, we have the ability to create these experiences for people as they transition into this new world of augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, you know, the cars and, and, and drones. And so it's just a super exciting time um, to be an investor, Rich. I agree. And we love doing these interviews to find out more about these companies. And there's going to be investors from all over the world that are going to see this interview. What's the best way for those shareholders to get in touch with the company? So they can either um, contact me, Evan at nexttechar.com, or they could contact uh, uh, Julia, Julia <laughs> at nexttechar.com, or they could just info at nexttechar.com. So either way, it'll get to somebody and uh, we'd be happy to, uh, to talk to investors. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today. The CEO of Next Tech AR Solutions Corp, Evan Gappelberg. Thanks, Rich. Really always, appreciate it. Always a pleasure. And love to invite you back again. Anytime you have any big breaking news or if you want to just do a Q&A or something big to talk about, we'd love to be the place to help tell your story because we love these types of technology, early stage stories in hyper growth sectors. Now, one thing I want to remind everyone is Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. So please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I'm a big fan of this company. Please put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. I do find it to be undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed with a great future if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Evan, for joining us and have a nice day. Thanks, Rich. You too.